This demo is to show how to get over an error message that often comes up when you're importing an image into the background. So let's say for instance that you're going to add a new file that you want to add in the background of a network that you're going to draw on top of. If you just go with the default settings, now uh, these settings have to do with the scaling of the image and I know in this particular map that each pixel is equal to a meter so I wouldn't make any changes here. Uh, but these other options, if you just go with the default, you may see this error message come up that there is uh, attempted to read or write protected memory. This is often an indication that other memory is corrupt. That sounds really dangerous and problematic, like maybe there's something wrong with my computer or something wrong with the program. Uh, it turns out not to be the case. It's actually just a matter of changing the setting. And if you uh, use the same images before, but this time I'm going to turn off the compression, then it'll import just fine and uh, you can you know zoom to extents there it doesn't look as clear as I'd like but um, that actually that looks pretty clear if I want to uh, just double check the scaling to make sure that the scaling is fine on this image then what I can do is draw a pipe on this segment because I know that this should this segment length should be 100 meters and so if I just do a, uh, a layout here and drop a drop a junction at one end and then a junction at the other end and then open up the flex tables to look at the pipe properties there with any luck it'll say that the scaled length yeah see how it's saying 99 meters and so that's a hundred meter segment and that means that as I draw my network on top of this image from point to point to wherever that uh, all of those lengths are going to be the actual uh, length that they would be in reality and so I wouldn't have to use the uh, user defined length feature that sometimes I do. Um, all of those lengths would be scaled appropriately and so that's just a demonstration of how to get over the error message.